when you're talking about explosive pandemics, infectious diseases that spread rapidly, this is the worst that we've seen in 102 years um, since 1918. I mean, it has been certainly worse than the 1957, 1968, 2009 pandemics. So this is clearly a bad pandemic. Uh, I have called it, and I've been quoted as saying, you know, it's the perfect storm in my worst nightmare because what it has, it has the characteristics of being rapidly and exquisitely effective and efficient in transmitting from person to person. At the same time, it, is, it carries a degree of morbidity and mortality, particularly for certain vulnerable groups. Never ever underestimate an infectious disease outbreak. You know, what happened with HIV, we were seeing the tip of the iceberg and then it exploded. And then we had a disease that lasted for decades and killed a lot of people. Right here, remember early on the misunderstanding when the Chinese were thinking that it was only a virus that jumped from an animal to a human that didn't, that didn't um, spread effectively or efficiently, effectively is not the right word, efficiently from human to human. And only as we got more and more experience did we see the full capability of this outbreak. In the beginning, when you see something, you learn very, very quickly things that you maybe didn't imagine was an important part of an illness. And then all of a sudden, you find out an illness that the Chinese were saying was spread only from an animal to a human, and then only inefficiently from a human to human, to then something that exploded on the globe as a pandemic that involved almost every country in the world. So the initial look at this evolved into something very different than what it really was. Same thing with HIV. We thought it was a disease or curiosity among gay men and that it was kind of going to go away after a while because it was sort of a curiosity. And it turned out to be a global pandemic of enormous proportions.